Hello, and welcome to our video introducing you to the Maestro interface. After this video, you should know how to open Maestro, change your working directory, save a project, and customize your mouse actions. You will be able to import a structure into the workspace, as well as zoom, rotate, and select a structure. Let's get started. Please follow along to help remember the concepts we cover. Feel free to pause this video or skip back to sections if you need. To note that it will be much easier to navigate and perform tasks in Maestro if you are using a three-button mouse with a scroll wheel as opposed to a trackpad or trackpad mouse, such as an Apple Magic Mouse. Now, before we load in any structures, we're going to change our working directory. We recommend that you do this before anything else when you open Maestro. The working directory is where any files you generate in the Maestro session will be written. It is also where Maestro will look first to read in any files. Set your working directory appropriately. This is a great way to keep different files for different research projects organized. Now go to File in the top left and choose Change Working Directory. Here you will select your desktop and then click to add a new folder. Name this folder Course and click Choose. Now that you have chosen a working directory, you will need to save your work as a project. Currently, we are in a Scratch project, and none of this work will be saved if the project is closed. Saved projects continue to save automatically, like a Google Doc, so that all of your work will be there the next time you open up the project. To save your Maestro session as a project, come up to File and choose Save Project As. We will save this project as Maestro underscore Intro and click Save. In general, you can name projects and files how you like in Maestro. Our recommendation is to avoid spaces in the file and project names. Use dashes or underscores instead. We will begin our introduction to molecular modeling at the top left corner of the interface. Go to File and choose Import Structures. Click on Desktop. Then Course Data and open the CDK2 prepared.mae file. Once you open the file, a banner will appear at the top of the 3D workspace. This typically happens in Maestro when you load in a file, a calculation finishes running, or to suggest a common next step. For us, we will close this banner as our structure is already prepared. There are many ways your mouse can interact with the Maestro interface. You can customize your mouse actions for whatever mouse you're using by going to Workspace and then Customize Mouse Actions. For example, if you're using a trackpad, you can select the trackpad mode. If you are a Pymol user, it might be helpful to use the Pymol mode. We recommend using a mouse with three buttons and a scroll wheel. That is what has been used in the videos in this course. As there are many options for how to interact with molecules in Maestro, this table can show you the various button actions. You have the ability to customize your mouse actions a bit, but once more, we suggest sticking with the three button mouse with a scroll wheel. Back in the workspace, scroll up and down on your scroll wheel. This zooms your workspace in and out. Next, click and drag on the scroll wheel to rotate your structure. Take a second to get used to this motion. Now, click and drag on your right mouse button. This translates the structure in your workspace in an XY plane. Finally, let's zoom in a bit to see the individual atoms of the structure more clearly. Now, use your left mouse button to click on some atoms. This will select specific atoms or part of your structure. You'll notice that the selected items are highlighted in blue. Also notice that atoms under your mouse will highlight as you hover over them. Use this predictive highlighting to help you know what you are going to click on before you click on it. This is especially useful when you have a crowded workspace. Now, let's zoom out a bit. You can also left click and drag to do a lasso selection. Now that we have gotten familiar with our mouse actions, let's take a look at other ways we can zoom. Let's say you somehow lose where your protein structure is. You can click Fit Structure to View to fit all included atoms in your workspace. Likewise, we can zoom in to just a group of selected atoms 
or a ligand if one is present in your workspace. Note that buttons in Maestro will become active or inactive depending on what is in your workspace. For instance, if we don't have any atoms selected in our workspace, this button will no longer be active. You can use this visual clue to help you know which buttons to use, as well as hovering over buttons to use the tooltip to remind you what they do. Now that we have covered mouse actions and zooming, we can move on to selection. Currently, we are in the atom selection scope. This means we can choose at the atom level within the interface. Once more, if you hover over different buttons, a tooltip will appear telling you exactly what that button is for. It is important to know that Maestro works on a select first paradigm. This means that if you want to change the look of a molecule in the workspace, or you want to modify part of a molecule, you first need to select those atoms within the workspace. Let's select an atom in the workspace. If we look down at our status bar, at the bottom of the interface, you can see one atom has been chosen from one residue. You can also select the whole residue by double-clicking on the atom. Back at the selection scope, click on Residues and come back to the workspace protein. When you hover over it, it will highlight the whole residue. When you click once, now blue spheres will encircle all atoms within that residue. The same can be done for chains and other items. Keep an eye on the letter next to your mouse cursor to remember what selection scope you currently have. You should now be comfortable with saving your projects and interacting with the structures in the workspace. See you in the next video, where we will bring in a structure from the Protein Data Bank and start manipulating molecules in Maestro.